Hello, my name is Catherine Chen. I'm the principal bassoon of the Milwaukee Symphony. I'll be playing the Mozart Bassoon Concerto this weekend at the Basilica. <laughs> It's a funny story. Um, I used to play piano. I started when I was four, and then I played the cello starting when I was six. And then as I was about to get into high school, I wanted to be in the band program. My brother and my sister were in it. I thought it was the coolest thing. You know, you look up to your siblings, your older siblings. So I asked the band teacher, what instrument should I play? And he said, you look like a bassoon player. So I said, okay. I didn't even know what it was, but sure. <laughs> well, it's already different because I stand for a solo concerto as opposed to sitting in the back of the orchestra. There's a lot of endurance involved, so you know, you have to prepare for that. It is kind of nerve-wracking playing a whole solo piece in front of your colleagues. Um, but I, you know, listened to a lot of recordings, I studied the score, and I sing a lot and think about how I want to phrase. Um, and I also want to stay true to the Mozartian style of the piece. I wrote it over the summer. I was in Switzerland and I drew inspiration from, you know, the scenery and the mountains, and I really wanted to stay in the style of Mozart, so I actually took a lot of the material from the violin parts. And funnily enough, the bassoon cadenzas is, is taken from the accompaniment, and you don't even hear it in the solo bassoon part. They're actually really great melodies too, and the bassoon never gets to play it. <laughs> I love it because it's very lyrical and, you know, I think the bassoon gets the stereotype of getting the Humpty Dumpty melodies from the Sorcerer's Apprentice or something. The first movement, I just think joyful, happy. He wrote this concerto when he was 19 years old, so you know, very young Mozart, naive, pure, um, you know, nothing, no worries on your shoulders. And then the second movement is a love song. And then the third movement is a dance. So that's what I envision.